been thinking a lot about um, the human condition and especially trolls like metal detecting trolls and I kind of I kind of figured it out okay people people that have come into metal detecting over the past 10 to 12 years have got a completely different perspective on what metal detectors and metal detecting is all about you know and, and, and if people the people that come in straight into digital have got a completely different perspective but I got I'm 47 um, and I got my first metal detector when I was 10 so there wasn't digital shit um, but yeah I definitely think a lot of the, the trolls are the ones that have this brand loyalty like football teams it's it's weird pretty crazy shit going on here look that loads of flat stuff this look just cancels it out a lot of junk look that's flat but tells you that sounds cleaner doesn't it clean around the edges oh I think I see it yeah lead hey, look Look at this, look. Um, I could keep on going. Look, let's just, just for the hell of it, look. I'm just gonna keep on doing it. Look, look at this. It's endless. That these machines, when you understand the audio of your machines, you put the time in, you apply your mind, you find shit in it. You know? Look. Do I need to go on? The cutlass ain't having it. But that, the machine will still pick up small hammered silver. triggers a little bit off the big stuff not very much at all and it's very obvious literally everything about that sounds right that isn't it is it yeah it is look, just large lead oh it's one of those really rough ones though I've had them before for some reason I thought it might be something that people sharpen their knives with I've had them before they're quite interesting. Lead. It came jumping, leaping out of the uh, the chaos I don't think that's anything musket ball that's been shot as well considering the age of this machine um, It's handling this environment brilliantly, man. Look, literally over that eye and nothing, man. Nothing. Flat.
musket ball. Yeah. Okay, that sounded nice. I don't think it's, I mean, it was obviously something that you got the, obviously something, God knows what though. said it before with this place if you don't like mud you better get out the kitchen that doesn't make any sense two pair yeah two p that was on edge slightly muted signal due to it being on edge yeah if you don't like mud this ain't the place for you Me uploading a video in um, stating in the title that the Cutlass has better discrimination than my Legend and Equinox 800, it's not designed to cause controversy to get views. Um, you know, that's all bollocks. I'm just being truthful. And if I'm going to be 100% truthful, I personally believe that all of my Tesoros, including the Compadre, has got better discrimination than my Legend and my Equinox 800. So, it's really just, I'm just stating my opinion. You know, I know there's going to be people out there that won't like it. Um, but I've kind of got used to the trolls now. They make me laugh. You know, like getting that done in about metal detecting. Like I said, people need to understand what a problem is. You know, people that have read my blogs will re read the blog about me. I explained briefly about me. Um, my wife got diagnosed with stage four cancer and she's gonna die and I'm gonna have to watch her. That's a problem. What, you know, the vortex not having an adjustable iron bias or someone turning around and saying that an old Tesoro has better discrimination than most of the modern machines that's not a problem okay stage four cancer is a problem so maybe just just pay attention to what I've said before you open your mouth you know but I also understand that inbreeding can cause sort of, you know, limited brain function. So I'm aware of that. There's been a lot of movement because um, of the wind and the rain and everything. So there has been a lot of movement. Hopefully that will, uh, you know, Hopefully it would have washed some good stuff up. First target, musket ball. That was lovely. There's so much iron here um, underneath the rocks. Musket ball. Yeah. Another musket ball. I'm finding a lot of musket balls. It's because we've had a lot of wind, you see. It moves them in. I'm going to be back out in the fields this weekend. Probably digging shite, but um, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Small pistol ball, is it? Yeah, um, 
Yeah, I'm going to be down on my farm in Southampton with the Nexus V3 20 inch double D because that coil is stupidly sensitive to deep um, items. So, yeah, probably be digging a lot of deep crap. I'm actually looking forward to it though. I do really like the audio of um, the Cutlass. Oh, is it going to be a hand forged nail? You see, now that I think, I got a feeling, like I said, with these Tesoros, they seem to detect, yeah, better in the dirt. Because that's discriminated out. Um, you saw it, it's discriminated out. But when it's got dirt over it, it picks it up. Meaning that the Tesoros will most probably detect better in the ground than they do in air. Oh, what have we got here? That looks cool. This looks like some... This looks like a pendant or something, look. Look at that. It's got a connection there. It's got a head on it. Bust. Oh yeah. gonna be small in it oh coin yes what is this coin eighteen fifty five 